Hello everybody, my name is Matthew and welcome to the first episode of Minecraft with Matthew. So I want everyone to sit back, relax, grab a piece of toast and enjoy the show. So on this series we're going to be going over little tips and building tricks that I've discovered and that you can easily do. So this first episode this week is going to be on texturing, in which we are going to texture six different walls varying from wood to sand slash red sand, cobblestone, concrete, brick and stone bricks. So let's jump right into it with the wood. Wood is different to the other groups because it already has quite a nice texture on it. So a lot of people make the impression that their first move is to add different types of wood which can be okay if done well, but generally isn't what you want to do. So when texturing woods, the best thing to do is instead of adding variation, instead to try add pattern. So if you've got a nice plain wall like this, I'd suggest dividing it up into sections. Anything really works, just as long as you add some kind of pattern, it can really add to the build. Next for the sand slash red sand. I prefer using red sand because I like the colour more. It's a nice orange as opposed to a nice yellow, but they both do look pretty nice. So for this, I've picked out obviously the red sand, also smooth red sandstone, and orange terracotta. Because the red sand on its own looks like this. The smooth sandstone looks incredibly similar but ever so slightly darker and then the orange terracotta is a once again slightly more darker than this. So how I'd go about texturing this build is by putting the darker areas in the corners and nearer to the bottom. So annoyingly I've built this out of sand meaning it's going to drop. So uh, we're going to need to clear out all of this. So I suggest building it up on the corner pieces here, like that, maybe a bit around the bottom, there-ish, and we're going to have to break these as well so that we can actually place these down. Making sure to get quite quite random in there, quite nice and right, it's, there's nothing uh, tactic going on here. But then the sandstone is very nice to use next because it's, it's ever so slightly darker than the uh, sand. And once again we're going to go in for the corners and the edges for that is where, sorry, oops, that is where the most change is going to be noticeable. And then once we've done that we just fill all the rest back in with the sand. And there we have, oh no, ignore that, you didn't see anything. And then we have a really nice textured sand slash red sand wall. Next for the cobblestone wall, it's very crackly and very uneven because it's made of pebbles basically. So adding in stairs in random places to make it look a lot more chunky and blocky and then just a lot more jutty and then slabs in other places. I shouldn't I probably shouldn't put too many underneath there. Just going through roughly thinking maybe there and then maybe there might be interesting to have some slabs. And then you're going to need to put blocks behind the slabs well, clearly. Is that all the slabs? Nope, the one up here. There we are. So that already makes that look a little bit more interesting. But another step forward to go from there is by adding these mossy cobblestone blocks, which look very, very nice on their own. So if we throw some of these in just around this area, maybe a, a bit more 
down here like that and there we have a super quick super easy lovely cobblestone wall next for the concrete wall concrete is very solid and very smooth so adding a rough ragged random texture to it doesn't seem like that would be the best option so instead i think it would be more suiting to add a gradient going across the wall where we have a darker shade of gray at the bottom and a much lighter shade of grey nearer the top. Now obviously this on its own doesn't look too appealing so if we knock out some of these blocks here and then some of these ones just with that we can see that it's looking much better. The difference between the light grey and the dark grey is very very strong. So this one doesn't work quite as well as the others. So I'd recommend keeping that in mind when building out of concrete that they're very definitive. And there aren't very many blocks that's very similar to them. So try to keep that in mind if you're planning to add gradients. Sometimes it doesn't quite work as demonstrated here. However, concrete powder mixed with the same concrete itself does work quite well, and so I'd recommend that. Next up after this we have the brick wall, which is quite nice as its own, but can be a little deceiving because it looks almost too smooth where it looks unrealistic. So adding occasional breakages here and there out of small bits, such as granite and polished granite can make this look a lot more realistic and then plausible and bring the build completely together. So if we go around placing a lot of granite and posh granite in, we can see that it certainly helps the wall. However, this does look quite untidy and messy, which whilst that is what we're going for, it also just doesn't look very good. So make sure not to overdo it with the bricks. If you see a couple spots occasionally that you think there's too much clutter in, feel free to just go through and just place down more bricks in places. Just wherever you think there probably should be a brick because it probably shouldn't be as messy just place a brick in and it instantly improves it. Our final wall, the stone brick wall, is very similar to the cobblestone wall in that it uses mossy alterations of its own block to add texture and enhance it dramatically. So what we all need to do is just go through adding just viney messy areas where we think there'd probably be some there, might be some a bit more over here-ish. Um, where else might there be a bit? Maybe down there, there could be a little bit. But then also, we can incorporate some more stair pieces. Or mossy stair pieces, I should say. Like that there, um, this there could be pretty nice, but that doesn't look quite as good as I was hoping for. But then we can also add some there, and a little bit there and maybe another one there. Same goes for the regular stone brick stairs. If we just throw some more in there, a couple in there, maybe one here. That looks pretty nice. But also, since we've got these bits here, what we can also do is add vines going down. And these on the stairs make it a very interesting look. Obviously we don't quite want to overdo it with the vines, but just having quite a few definitely makes it look very interesting. So there you go, that is how you add texture to six different Minecraft designs, and obviously some of them work better than others. The red sand I think worked incredibly well, and also the brick is superb with granite and smooth granite. The wood, like I said at the beginning, is very difficult to texture, 
so just going for a pattern is probably your best bet and the concrete probably doesn't deserve a texture to be honest now that I'm thinking about it but that's all in the fun that's all in what you decide to add if you think that looks really good then go go ahead feel free and design whatever you like but whatever way you look at it this has been Minecraft with Matthew and I hope you will have an excellent day bye